Impulse and momentum. Let's see what happens when we apply an impulse to an object. For this movie, we will apply an impulse to a baseball. Impulse is equal to the force applied to an object times the time the force is applied to the object. We will apply the force to the baseball with a bat and the time will be the amount of time in seconds that the bat is in contact with the baseball. The impulse will be equal to the change in momentum of the baseball. The change in momentum is equal to the mass of the baseball times the change in velocity of the baseball. So the force applied to the baseball times the contact time is equal to the mass of the baseball times its change in speed. If you decrease the contact time of the bat on the ball, you will then decrease the change in velocity. This is what makes a bunt work. When applying the bunt, the ball touches the bat for a very short time, creating a small impulse. This leads to a smaller change in velocity for the ball. If you increase the contact time of the bat on the ball, you will then increase the impulse, which increases the change in velocity for the ball. This is why your coach always tells you to follow through. When you hit a home run, you try to swing your bat so it touches the ball as long as possible.